Shalom Akim. I want to give all praise down and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Akakwadash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And it's going to be a quick one entitled uh, Project Megiddo proves that this devil thinks he is the most high. Project Megiddo was a report researched and written by the United States FBI under Director Louis Free. Released on October 20th, 1999, the report named follows followers of white supremacy. All right. Which, as I read this, you could X out white supremacy. Because if that was the case, you know, they would be looking into their own selves. But we know, the, you know, we know Esau is a, is a hypocrite. White supremacy, Christian identity, American militia movement. Black Hebrew Israelites and apocalyptic groups, cults, as potential terrorists who might become violent in reaction to the new millennium. All right. So anybody who's a God, a God fearing person, if you will. All right. One who believes in the Bible. All right. Is a threat. You fall under Project Megiddo. You are a person who could potentially be a terrorist who will react violently to this new millennium. In which, as I think about it, I uh, believe the Apostle Gabar to be right in his prediction, you know, in his uh, when he spoke about how there will be another terrorist attack and this devil is going to blame it upon us. All right. But going into the lesson, this is for over th for over 4000 years. Megiddo, a hill in northern Israel, has been the site of many battles. Ancient cities were established there to serve as a fortress on the plain of Jezreel to guard a mountain pass. As Megiddo was built and rebuilt, one city upon the other, a mount or hill was formed. The Hebrew word Armageddon means hill of Megiddo. In English, the word has come to represent battle itself. The last book in the New Testament of the Bible designates Armageddon as the assembly point in the apocalyptic setting of God's final and conclusive battle against evil. And that's the point I wanted to harp on. All right. So it is devil coming against the black Hebrew Israelites, painting us as evil, as wicked, as terrorists. Him through Project Megiddo when he implements it as we see that he's doing it to this very day as the video from the brother GMS Watchman goes into how this devil is going to use warlike tactics against the black Hebrew Israelites all right or against um domestic terrorism which is the same thing in his eyes okay which goes to show you that a hey, martial law could be implemented very soon and if martial law could be implemented very soon, then that means, as I mentioned before, through our apostle, all right, that um, this devil could be planning some, you know, to kill a lot of people, you know, because that's what he wants to do anyway, according to the Georgia Guidestones. But he's, it'll be like two birds in one stone, because he'll do some wickedness and blame it upon us, just as he does all around the world. You know, it's nothing new under the sun. The scriptures say. He is as the sins of his youth in Job 20, I think 20 and 21. Okay. But Project Megiddo is God's final and conclusive battle. Or Megiddo is God's final and conclusive battle against evil, according to the scriptures. Otherwise known as Ar Armageddon. The name Megiddo is an apt title for a project that analyzes those who believe the year 2000 will usher in the end of the world. And who are willing to perpetrate acts of violence to bring that end about. <laughs> and since the report's purpose was to warn other domestic law enforcement agencies to the potential for extremist criminal activity in the United States by individuals or domestic groups who attach special significance to the year 2000. Okay. So yeah, man, Project Megiddo, it's Esau's way. 
you know, of um his final fight against evil, you know, against the adversary. Just as the Lord is going to come back and fight against his adversaries. All right. You find that in the book of Isaiah 34. Uh, Revelations 19, Revelations 12. You know, and the scriptures say that he thinketh himself to be God. Let's grab that. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 4. Who opposeth and exalteth himself. Above all that is called God and that is worshipped so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God showing himself that he is God. <laughs> so this devil. All right. Thinking he's something more than he's not. Which the scriptures say if a man thinks himself to be something when he is nothing he deceives himself. You know. And instead of as the scriptures say. Letting the Lord deal with the evil. All right. You want to take it upon your own heads. It's actually. Um, Lord willing. I could find this. Speaks about. Uh, oh. Revenge not yourselves. I can't remember how it goes, but um, there's another one that speaks basically the same thing. Um, Zephaniah 3 verse 8, where the Lord says, Wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until that until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Okay, but this is the devil Esau Edom feels like, you know, this is his, uh, you know, that's his job. You know, he controls good and evil. All right, so just something quick in the spirit. Um, as I read that, made me think of um, how this devil think of himself to be the heavenly father. All right, and um, hey, Ezekiel 28 proves that he's not the heavenly father. Actually, the most high said. Let me see. What was that? Ezekiel 28. He said, uh. Ezekiel 28 and 6. The Wadi Hal Bashimi Shai. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, because thou hast set thy heart as the heart of God. Behold, therefore, I will bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against thee. The beauty of thy wisdom, and they shall devour to follow thy brightness. They shall bring thee down to the pit. All right, as um we just read about how the Lord speaks about the valley of Jehoshaphat Armageddon, and thou shalt die the deaths of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. Wilt thou yet say before him that slayeth thee, I am God? But thou shalt be a man and no God in the hand of him that slayeth thee. You know, and um, the fact that the Lord is not putting a foot in his ass right now, he got pride, you know, but the Lord, he know how to uh, humble you. The Lord know how to humble you. So uh, with that, Shalom to the elect.